going to be demonstrating the installation of Genovation's PVC porch and deck railing. Make sure to check with your local building department to make sure you're building your railings to meet your local building code. Go to our website, genovationsdeck.com, to see all the colors and styles that we offer in our railing. Now let's get started with the installation. We offer our railing sections in 6, 8, and 10 foot lengths. We also offer stair railing in 6 and 8 foot lengths. They come as boxed kits with everything needed between the posts except for your post sleeve, cap, and trim ring. It's very important to figure out your post placement before you start your project. Let's get started with our post placement. Once you have your deck layout planned and you have your post layout planned, now it's ready to mount the post to your frame. We recommend that you mount your post into your framing and not to the deck surface. Make sure you check with your building department to make sure you're mounting your post correctly to your local building codes. We've taken our post, we've mounted it into the frame, and we've cut our decking around it. We've left 3 eighths of an inch relief all the way around the post to allow for expansion contraction. Now we're ready to put our post sleeves on and finish up with our installation. Our railing sections are designed with a sleeve over wood 4x4. It's a PVC sleeve. We're going to take this, we're going to add our trim ring to the bottom. And then we're going to slide over our wood 4x4 post. Now that we've done this, we're ready to add our brackets. These 4x4 posts, if they're really loose on your wood posts, you want to make sure to shim it on all four sides. That way when you're putting your brackets on, you get a nice snug fit. You're not concaving the sleeve out against the post. In order to mount your brackets to your post, you have to determine the center line of your post, make a mark, and then that determines where you're going to put your brackets. You measure up from the deck floor, inch and three quarters, from here to here. That's the bottom of your bracket, inch and three quarters up. Go ahead and mark your holes on your center line. And your top bracket is 32 and 3 eighths from the deck surface to the bottom of your upper bracket. Center it, mark your holes. Once you have your two brackets holes marked, you want to take an eighth inch drill and pre-drill your holes before mounting the brackets. We pre-drilled our hole with an eighth inch drill bit before we mount our brackets. We put our bottom bracket on. These brackets are held on with lag bolts that are right in the kits. Now we're going to mount the top bracket. Now we've mounted both top and bottom. We pre-drill, put our lag bolts in, and our move to the other post. Since this distance between these two posts is shorter than our normal six foot section, we have to cut down our rails to fit. Once your brackets are installed, we have to figure out how long to cut our P-channel and our, and our vinyl rail to fit in here. To do that, you take your tape measure Inside the bracket, there's a window in here. It says insert to here, right on the bracket. Put your tape in there, roll it over, measure the opposite window, and that measurement is what you cut your aluminum channel to. You do the same thing for your top. Go to the window, pull it over, get your measurement, and then cut your aluminum channel. We'll do that now. Once you cut your aluminum channels, the vinyl portion gets cut an inch and three-eighths shorter. We'll talk about the baluster spacing once we cut our aluminum pieces. The aluminum channel that we have to go inside our vinyl rails, we have two different ones. We have a P-channel, which goes in the top, top rail. We have a step channel here that goes in your bottom rail. We went ahead and cut these based on our measurement between our brackets. Now that we've done that, 
our vial pieces get cut an inch and three-eighths shorter than the aluminum channel. And we figured out our baluster spacing by laying this up here and taking equal amounts off each end of our vinyl rail when we cut it. Now we're ready to install. You want to make sure you put your step channel in the bottom with a long piece facing up so your balusters can go in. And the P channel on the top, you want the P on the top side and the long side going down so your balusters can go up into the top rail. We'll demonstrate that now. We've got our aluminum channel cut to length. We've got our vinyl railing cut to length. Before we can put those into the brackets, we have to put our bracket covers on the ends of the rail. Do the bottom rail first. We just slide them on the ends with the open side facing the post. And the bottom rail is ready to put into place into the brackets. You have to pull your bracket covers back a little bit in order for you to get it all the way down. You want to make sure your bottom rail is all the way down to the bottom of the bracket on either end and center. Now we're ready to put our balusters in. This is uh, our square baluster, inch and a half by inch and a half. They've got notches on them to hold them in, into the rail, lock them in place, top and bottom both. Once you have your bottom rail in place, you're ready to put your balusters in. You just put them into the routed holes and just pinch them a little bit on either side and then they snap lock right in like that. You want to go ahead and put all the ones in your rail, pinch and push. Grab your rail, you pinch them together with your finger and thumb and push. Now we're ready to put our top rail on. We've added our bracket covers on either end. I'm going to take it up and rest it into the brackets. Pull your bracket covers all the way into the brackets. And then we're going to put the balusters in. Now we have all our balusters in place into our top and bottom rail. Now we're ready to plumb the section and then fasten. Once you got your railing and balusters in place, we want to make sure they're all nice and plumb. We've got them square, we've got our rails in. They're all level. We've got to make sure your vinyl railing is touching the bottom of all your brackets so you're down all the way. And you want to put your self-tapping screws and fasten to the channels both top and bottom brackets that's what holds your section together now that we've got it all plumb we'll go ahead and fasten these make sure not to do them over tighten them. You've got two in each bracket. And then once you have them two in each bracket, you can go ahead and take your bracket cover and snap lock it in place. Then you'll have a full assembly. Now that we finished our installation of our square generations railing, I'd like to go over a couple of key points about the installation of a shorter section like this one. 
If you've got a problem with your distance between your first bounce and your post, if this is too close and you cannot get your bracket covers on, you can actually cut these and roll them over after you install it. They also have notches on the bottom where you can pull them back a little bit farther if need be if you have a situation where this is, distance is too close. We have many other styles. This is our square design. We have many other colors that we offer. You can see that on our website, GenovationsDeck.com. If you like this video, check us out and subscribe to our channel.